I'm hoping this 982 gigabyte memory stick is going to cure the issues that I have with backing up the PC and also it's going to do it at a good value cost. I'm a fervent believer in, uh, in backing up the PC and the best way that I've found to do it is with the NAS drive. I've had a couple of NAS drives, they've both worked perfectly. Uh, I keep having to renew them every time I need more storage. However, the third one that I bought was a Western Digital My Home NAS drive. One of the worst things that I've ever bought. So hard to use, so hard to connect to your system. Um, it's just a terrible, it doesn't even come with software to back up over the, over the network. So, big recommendation, don't buy a Western Digital My Home. I've been using this in the meantime. It's a, a terabyte Toshiba hard drive, which has worked great, but it's a bit cumbersome to be lying around in the, in the kitchen. Hence, buying the, uh, the 982 gigabyte flash drive. So, I'm hoping that this, as I say, is a cost-effective way of backing up until I find a, a decent-sized NAS drive that I can connect to the network and back up automatically. That's my recommendation. NAS drive on the network, back up all the time right let's get it sorted so this is the flash drive let's plug it into the pc and then we'll use some software to do the backup okay so the first thing that we've got to do is make sure that what we're copying across isn't bigger than the capacity on the storage device and that's nice and easy to do if we open up the file explorer and I want to do documents, which I have a look at the properties, uh, 161 gig. I want to do pictures, which are 567 gig. Video, 105 gig. And last but not least, music, which is 38 gig which gives us a grand total of 870. So we know that we should be able to transfer everything over. So the next stage is let's just use the software. Okay, so once you're satisfied with the size, just um, I'm gonna use some software. This is the Eases backup application. <clears throat> uh, this is the free one, so there's no bells and whistles, but it does exactly what I want it to do. You could just drag and drop it into the drive, to be honest with you, but I don't wanna do that. Right, let's close that and create backup i want to change it from d i'm going to change it to f which is the pen drive and there's f and then we need to choose what we're actually backing up so we're going to file we're going to computer and it's all on the d drive so we've got documents music pictures and video click ok so that's what we're backing up. That's where we're backing it up to. Let's press back up now and it should all start. There we go, perfect. Now, it's not gonna be the fastest thing in the world, uh, but we'll see how long it takes and then we'll see if everything's transferred across. Right, so that's it, all done. Uh, it took over 24 hours to transfer the 870 odd gig, uh, very slow but everything's backed up now and as i said one terabyte for uh, under 33 pounds you can't knock that if we open up the drive you can see the i've transferred one just by dragging and dropping the files into it but that was slow as well i thought it might be something to do with the backup file with um ease us but it wasn't that so there you go you pay your money, you take your choice, but it, it does the job anyway. Not too sure if I'd recommend it for, uh, for backing up, but certainly just for portable files, does, does exactly what it's supposed to do.